Hey guys, it's Pete here from PeteTownsleyFitness.com and today's question is, is the 5-2 diet good for fat loss? So I want to cover the 5-2 diet. I want to take quite a balanced approach after I got slammed with my isogenics review. But basically I want to look at the good, the bad, the ugly and my final verdict. I want to tell you if the 5-2 diet is good for you and when and why you might use it. So the 5-2 diet, basically it's a diet that consists of eating whatever the hell you like for five days and then fasting or really a low calorie day for two days of the week. So the book was written by Dr. Michael Mosley who put together a program a couple of years ago now for the BBC on the benefits of intermittent fasting or basically a low calorie day like he's encouraging in this book. So let's start with the good and what I like about this diet or what can potentially be good. Now remember, as I said in an earlier video, all diets work. Every single diet in the world have lots of similar things, uh, lots of commonalities. They control, they should control portion control. There's a higher awareness on food. You're thinking about what you eat. You probably have someone to check in or weigh-in system. So lots of diets are similar. Okay. What I also like about this particular diet, there's no product sales. They're not selling shakes and pills and potions and clubs and membership sites, it's just a straight up book sale with no other strings attached and no other things to buy from it. And you could argue that the fasting days, there are some benefits to fasting for those who are healthy and have their cortisol in check. The benefits of fasting can be can be things such, of, such as learning to control hunger or, or learning when you actually are hungry. Because let's face it, most of us in the Western world have never gone hungry more than four hours in our life with so many food and, and outlets close by. So it can have some benefits there. It can have some digestive benefits having a fast day or a lower calorie day. Now, now let's get to the bad. What I don't like about this diet is anybody who's mildly in good, mildly in good shape. So if anyone has any kind of training history or any kind of high performance needs, whether they're an athlete or they're training twice a day or they're playing competitive sport or they want to move into that arena or they just want to look damn good and have a six pack and, and a fit athletic body, this is not the diet for you. Why? Because the premise of the diet is two days with a low calorie day, five to 600 calories per day. On the other five days, there's not really any guidelines. You know, I've heard of people eating McDonald's and KFC and burgers and bagels and triple sugar double shot coffees several times throughout the day on their, on their five days, but on the two days that they're, they're very, very restricted. So for an athlete, I would prefer a diet that has six days, six and a half days of very controlled and, and specific nutrition for this athlete. When I say athlete, I'm talking about anybody who works out a few times a week, right? I'd rather have a, a, a tighter system for six and a half days. And then if they feel like it, they can have something, you know, a bit of a free meal once a week if everything else has been okay. But I don't like the idea of five days of eating crap and then two days of controlled dieting. Now let's look at the really bad. I feel this diet is selling you, the, the, the consumer, the, the book buyer, on a sort of a eat your cake and eat it too kind of diet. If that were true, do you know how many people there would be who are ripped and eating crap all day, including cake and burgers and bagels, and have no control or decision making process on five days of the week? It wouldn't happen. Some of you might argue about if it fits your macros right now. That's a different video. But you can't have your cake and eat it too with no control over the portion size. The second thing I don't like, I feel this is really setting people up for a highly restrictive and then a big blowout style of, of eating plan. It's not a healthy relationship with food. I've heard lots of anecdotal reports on, on this particular diet. The two days are fantastic. fantastic. Let's say it's a Sunday, Monday are your two days. You eat super low, low calorie foods. Because you're eating such low, low calorie, you're choosing foods that fill you up, fibrous foods, green veggies, because you don't have a lot of food to choose from. You know, people would rather choose a couple of big salads than one Krispy Kreme donut for the same calories, right? But then I've heard these people on the first and second days of these five days, it's the extreme opposite. They're having their donuts for breakfast. They're having cakes for morning tea and lunch. They're overeating on their meals because they feel they're allowed to eat this on their five days off. So I feel it sets up this two days of very strict, overly restrictive, poor 
poor fuel diet for two days, followed by five days of binging and, and, and big uh, no control days. So my final verdict, going back to point one, is all diets will work. They control, most diets control calories, increase food awareness, promote exercise, have, have some kind of check-in uh, in terms of progress, weight or body fat, whatever it is. So all diets are similar, which means all diets can potentially work for you. As I always say, is XYZ good for you? It depends. Is the 5-2 diet good for you? It depends. If you're emotionally sedentary, have been inactive, do not have an active job, have a fairly good control on your stress, yeah, it might work. But I would imagine you're going to get to a certain point where you'll need something a little bit more advanced than something that I feel is, is geared to a non-exerciser. Okay? It's selling the have your cake and eat it to um, diet because it's overly simple and it's very, very basic. What I really don't like though is it's setting up, I believe, bad relationships with food. It's it's encouraging people to say, you know what, if you've had, you know, you've had a couple of a bad days, just don't eat. Okay, if you had five bad days, hey, let's just have two days of not eating. That's what I feel the relationship is setting up by the five two diet. So my verdict would be a five out of ten, and it's a thumbs down from me. Big thumbs down, no go. I do not recommend this for nine out of ten people. So there's my verdict on the five two diet. I hope this helps clear up maybe some thoughts you were having on it. If you have any questions you want me to answer, as always, post them down below. There's a link here as well to subscribe to this video. Please, please, please subscribe so you can get more of these videos coming straight through to you. And most importantly, please give this video a big thumbs up at the bottom um, because it keeps you know food on my table. So thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.